Welcome back to BioVet. Today we're looking at a 2019 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray. This car is finished with a white exterior and a red interior. One of the most popular combinations on a C7 Corvette. This car has some nice add-ons as well, including the black Z51 style wheels, 19 and 20 on the rear. It also has red brake calipers to match the red interior. And also the stage three rear spoiler has been added. This particular car has a seven speed manual transmission. Inside the car, there's some extra red accents that have been added to the steering wheel, the door panels and the center console. As I mentioned earlier, this car has a seven speed manual transmission. And that's what today's video is gonna be about, the rev matching capabilities of the C7 Corvette. Here we are inside the C7. And if you noticed on the steering wheel, there's paddle shifters, but these really aren't paddle shifters. This is how you turn on and off the rev matching capability of the car. So what is rev matching? Basically rev matching is matching the RPM of the engine to the lower gear that you're shifting in. So say you're running in fourth gear and you want to downshift to third. Well, obviously in third gear, the engine is gonna be spinning more RPMs than it was in fourth. So the car automatically blips the throttle to match the RPMs for the lower gear. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the road my favorite part and show you how it works. So here we are driving the C7. It has your gear indicator at the bottom right of the tachometer. So this is standard, just like every other car. As you go through the gears, you just run up through them and change. And as you change gears, the indicator tells you what gear you're in. So say we're in fourth gear, we're cruising, and we want to downshift. Well, when you downshift, if you do it, the car lunges forward and it's a very rough engagement. So if we pull the paddle, automatically the gear indicator turns yellow. So we'll go back to fourth gear and now listen to the engine as it downshift. You see that little blip? I'm not doing that with my foot. The car is doing that automatically. So what that does is it makes for much smoother downshifts and engages much easier on the car. So the active rev match is that is used primarily for performance applications. So say you were on the track driving the car and you were trying to slow down for the corner. Um, in the old days in a C5, C6, what you'd have to do is you'd have to heel toe to, to slow down. And basically what that is, is as you're applying the brake, the, in, the car's slowing down and so is the engine speed. So you need to downshift your gear, but you don't want to downshift without revving to match the gear you're going into or else it'll be a very bumpy transition. So I'll show you what will happen if you brake without rev matching or heel towing. So the car lunges forward every time I let the clutch out and it's very unsettling to the car. So imagine on a racetrack, if you were trying to slow down and you just let the clutch out, it's gonna have a tendency to upset the car and make it lose traction. So now we're going down the road and I'm gonna show you the difference between rev matching. So we're gonna turn the rev match on and do the same thing. I'm not gonna press the gas at all with my foot. But as I hit the brake and downshift, the revs match as it's going down, which makes a much smoother deceleration curve. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this video was informative for you on the active rev matching. And if you have any questions about this car or any other car we have, please let us know or contact us at buyavet.net.